hey guys yeah welcome back to my channel today thank you so much for stopping by in this video we'll be making this trendy top that you can see on your screen so if you're interested in this kind of video keep on watching and let's get started so i already have my pattern paper we're going to draft on our pattern paper before cutting on our fabric and i'm going to start by taking my point so the first point i'll take is the distance from my shoulder to my chest line which is eight inches the next point is the distance from my shoulder to my bust point which is 10 inches the next point is the distance from my shoulder to my under bust point which is 13 inches the next point is the distance from my shoulder to my waistline which is 16 inches and the length of my top which is 18 inches so i'm going to rule a straight line across all these points so i have my chest line my bust point my under bust point my waistline and my top length but the next thing i'm going to do is to take half of my shoulder measurement which is eight inches so i'm going to place that on my shoulder line which is the start of this pattern paper i'm going to indicate the eight inches with a dot on the eight inches point i'm going to go down by one inch for my shoulder slope i'm going to indicate that with a dot and then i'll slant from that point into my neckline area after doing that i'm going to place half of my shoulder measurement which is eight inches i'm going to place that same measurement on my chest line and i'll go ahead and indicate that also with a point after doing that i'm going to connect the point on the chest line and the point on my shoulder slope i'm going to connect both points into a straight line on the straight line i'm going to place my tape like this and i'm going to divide it by two so i'll mark the middle point what i had was seven inches half um, of seven inches is 3.5 inches i indicated that with a point on that point i'm going to come in word like this by half an inch and on my chest line i'm going to take my bust circumference divided by four i'm also going to indicate that with a dot so i'm going to use my ruler to connect from my shoulder slant to meet the half an inch that i I came in with and to also meet the bust measurement that i just took on my chest line just like this so if you don't have a ruler you can use your free hand also to achieve this after doing that guys the next thing i'm going to do is to take my bust pan measurement which is my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two mine is four inches i'm going to place the four inches on my under bust line on my waistline and on the top length and then i'm going to connect these three dots into a straight line on my bust point line i'm going to go down by one inch just like you see me doing i'll place my tape on that line and i'll mark one inch so i'm going to extend this um that leg to meet the one inch just like you see me doing after doing that i'm going to go ahead and take my dart so i'm going to take 0 0.75 inches on my center front and i'll also take 0 0.75 inches on the side front so i'm not taking one inch i'm taking very very close to one inch after doing that i'm going to use my ruler to connect from that point to meet the one inch mark so the next thing i'm going to do is to determine the width of my neckline for me i'm going to make use of three inches so i'm going to place my tape like this and i'll mark three inches and for the depth the depth totally depends on you and how open you want your chest line to be i'm going to slant from that three inches to meet my bust point i want my neckline to be open down to my chest so i'm going to slant if you want yours to be open down to your under bust line or to your chest line depending on what you want but mine is going to stop at my bust point so i'm just going to slant like this the next thing i'll do is to create my cup for the under bust so what i'm going to do is to place my ruler on the bust line just like you see me doing and then i'm going to create a curve like this to meet my under bust line so if you don't have a ruler you can use your hand to achieve this just make sure you do it carefully so i'm going to place my tape on that small line that we have on the armhole area 
and whatever i have i'm going to divide it by two so you see that little space that we have between the armhole area i got one inch so i'm going to divide the one inch into two i'm just going to mark the middle point and then i'm going to use my ruler to straighten the line a little bit just like you see me doing and then i'm going to place my ruler the same way that i did for the center front i'm going to create a curve to meet my under bust line just like this the next thing i'm going to do is to start placing my measurement so on the um, chest line i already have my bust circumference divided by four what i'm going to do is to add stitching allowance of two inches on the chest line and then on the waistline i'm going to place my waist circumference divided by four i'm going to replace the dart that we already took and then i'm going to add two inches for my stitching allowance and on the top length i'm going to place my hip circumference divided by four i'll also replace the dart and then i'll add two inches for stitching allowance after doing that i'm just going to go ahead and connect all the dots together I'm going to go ahead and cut so pay close attention so you know where to cut. After cutting the cup out, I'm also going to split my dart open because I don't want to cut my fabric into two when I'm going to cut. I'm just going to go ahead and join the side front and the center front together. That way I'll not take in my dart when I'm sewing. After doing that, I'm going to measure the shoulder area of my cup and what I had was 5 inches. So I'm going to mark 1 inch at different intervals. After doing that, I'm going to rule a straight line across all the one inch we are going to do the slash and spread method because we want this cup to fit into the cup area this cup is obviously too small so we are going to spread it by one inch so i'm going to go ahead and slash through all these lines but i'm not going to cut it out completely so just look at what i'm doing so you know um where to cut so i've gone ahead to slash through i'm going to bring another pattern paper and i'm going to place my cup on it i'm going to pin the shoulder area i'm not going to um open up the shoulder area the shoulder is supposed to be the same just like it is so what i'm going to do is to start spreading so i'm going to take this end and i'm going to hold it down with my cello tape and then i'm going to mark one inch from this particular one i will indicate it with a point after doing that i'm going to place the second one on this mark that i just made and i'm also going to hold it down with my cellar tape after doing that i also mark one inch so i'm spreading by one inch i'll mark one inch apart and then i'll spread all the way around so note that i only spread the body i didn't spread the shoulder area so i'm going to go ahead and trace this out using my marker and after doing that i'm going to go ahead and cut so this is going to be our new cup we are not using the old one anymore i'm going to remove the old one and here we have the new cup i'm going to label it i'm also going to use my tape to hold the center front and the side front together so it's going to be just one piece so after doing that we are going to work on the back so for the back i'm going to start by um, taking my points the distance from my shoulder to my bust point is 10 inches i'll indicate that and i'll rule a straight line across and the next point i'll take is the distance from my shoulder to my chest line which is 8 inches i'll also indicate that and i'll rule a straight line across the next Next point is the distance from my shoulder to my waistline. We don't need the under bust line for the back. I will a straight line across, and the next line is the distance from my shoulder to my top length. So for the back, I took 19 inches. I'm going to explain later why I took 19 inches. So I'm going to take out 1.5 inches for my zipper allowance, and I'll rule a straight line so after doing that the next thing i'll do is to take my half of my shoulder measurement which is eight inches i'll indicate that with a point and i'm going to take my neck width of three inches and for the depth i'm going to take one inch because this is the back and then i'm going to use my ruler to connect from the one inch to meet three inches just like this on my shoulder line i'm going to go down by one inch for my shoulder slope and i'll slant into my neckline so 
so this is basically what we did um for the front pattern so after doing that i'm going to place my shoulder measurement divided by two on my chest line just like we did for the front and then i'll connect the two dots together on the straight line on the arm o area i'm going to place my tape and i'm going to mark the middle point so what i had was seven inches half of it is 3.5 inches i'll indicate that with a dot on my chest line i'm going to place my um, bust circumference divided by four and i'll indicate that with a point so i'm going to use my villa to connect from the mark on the um, shoulder area to meet the um, measurement that i just took on my bust point so that is all we have to do for the arm o area um, of the back so the next thing i'll do is to take in my darts so half of my nipple to nipple measurement is four inches so i'm going to place four inches on my waistline on my top length on my bust point and on the chest line please extend your line to the chest line so i'm going to take half an inch on the center front and half an inch on the side front i'm doing this on my waistline and then i'm going to connect like this so after doing that i'll go ahead and start placing my measurements on my chest line i already have my bust circumference divided by four i added two inches just like i did for the front on the waistline also i took my waist circumference divided by four i replaced my dart and i added two inches i used the same measurement that i have on my waistline on my hip line so to adjust my zipper area i'm going to go in by one inch like this and i'll connect to meet the chest line this is to avoid any form of bulginess on the zipper area even though i'm not going to take um sew my zip on the back of the top so after doing that i'm going to go ahead to adjust my dart so for this tutorial there is no zipper at the back but you can choose to um sew your own zipper to the back so i'm going to go ahead and cut out my pattern paper after doing that i'll place all my paper on my fabric and i'm going to go ahead and cut so guys i've gone ahead to cut on my fabric for the front and this is what i have so you can see that i had a stitching allowance all the way around and i increased the length of my top by two inches because i don't want the top to be too short so we're going to work on the cup first for the cup i went ahead to cut out four pieces because i'll be using the um, fabric for the lining so i'm going to separate the cup into two right sides facing each other and then i'm going to go ahead and pin the neckline area after pinning i'm going to sew only the neckline so i'm going to sew down i'm going to sew down also and for the um center front and the side front like i said before i'm not going to take in my darts i went ahead to add half an inch on the cup area on the side and i increased the length of my top by two inches because i don't want mine to be a crop top i want it a little bit long so i've already closed my dart so i'm not going to take in my dart i'm just going to open it up for you guys to see so for this part i have just two pieces one is going to serve as the main piece and one is going to serve as my lining so if you look at the picture that we are following the front of this top is supposed to have buttons okay so i'm not going to do that because i don't have the time to go and fix buttons that is why i cut the center front on fold so if you want to attach button to yours you can go ahead and split it open and you can go ahead and cut out the loop that you'll be using for the button holder and then you can fix your button make sure you leave stitching allowance by the time you split the center open for my back piece i went ahead to add two inches also just like i did for the front so if you look at the picture that we are following the back is separated on the waistline and you can also see that the dart did not reach the base of this top so i'm going to mark my waistline which is 16 inches and you can see that i folded my zipper allowance inside because i'm not going to attach zipper to the back of this top but if you want to do that do not um fold your zipper allowance open it up before cutting so i'm going to mark the waistline like this and i'll cut it out after doing that i'm going to take my dart so i took half of my nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches i came down by 10 inches which is my boss point and i'm taking um 0.75 inch 
or sorry half an inch on both sides and then i'll go ahead and take in my dart so after doing that i'm also going to use my bias to pipe my neckline because i'm not going to cut lining for the back so guys the next thing i'm going to do is to work on this part so this part is going to be our band so what i'm going to do is to um conceal the base with my um clothing bias that is all i'm going to do and then i'll join it back so this is why i added one inch to my pattern paper the other time because we'll be needing the one inch to join the band back to the um half length of the top i don't know if you understand so i've gone ahead to sew my cup the neckline of the cup i went ahead to notch and i turned it to the right side and this is what i have so the next thing i'm going to do is to run gather stitch from this point down to the arm o point as you can see that arrow there so that's where i'm going to run the gather stitch i'll do that for the both cups after doing that i'll go ahead and gather and this is what i have for the main cup so i'm going to bring this part and i'm going to pin the cup to this part so i'm going to pin them right sides facing each other but before i pin i'm going to go down by half an inch from the center because i'm going to um join this part to the lining so i'm going to go ahead and pin the cup all the way around immediately after the half an inch that i came down with i'm going to pin all the way around so if you're a beginner i would advise that you pin one cup go and sew make sure everything sits everything is sitting perfectly before you come back and pin the other one and go and sew so i'm going to go down on this other end also by half an inch because i'm going to be attaching my lining to this later so i'm going to pin after pinning this cup i'll go ahead and pin the other cup and then i'll go ahead and sew so guys i'm done sewing and everything is okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in my lining and then i'm going to place my lining on the main piece right sides facing each other so pay close attention so you understand what i'm doing i'm going to pin from the half an inch that i came down with i'll join them together like this and then i'm going to pin on the cup all the way around so i'm doing this so that the rough edges of this cup is going to be inside the lining So after pinning my lining to the cup all the way around, I'm going to go ahead and sew. So do this carefully so that everything will come out fine. So after sewing guys, this is what I have. And you can see that all the rough edges is hidden inside the lining, is no longer outside and that is what we need. So this is what the outside look like and this is what the inside also looks like. You can see that everything is all nice and clean so after doing that guys the next thing i'm going to do is to turn the base so i'm going to fold my fabric like this and i'll join the base together that is the line and the main fabric right sides facing each other and i'll go ahead and sew on the straight line after sewing i'm going to go ahead and turn it inside out so you can see that the base has been concealed i'm going to drop this and work on the back so for the back i've gone ahead to take in my dart and i've also gone ahead to pipe my neckline and for the band i went ahead to also pipe the base of the band with my bias so i'm going to join the back and back using half an inch so after doing that guys this is what we have so the next thing i'll do is to join the back and the front together i'm going to place them right sides facing each other and i'll go ahead and join the shoulders so guys i'm done joining the shoulders and this is what it looks like on the right side you can see that it's the same length the front and the back is the same length so make sure your front and your back 
is the same length so the next thing i'm going to do is to cut out my sleeves so i've already gone ahead to fold my fabric into two what i'm going to do now is to um, measure the wideness of the sleeves so the fabric is folded into two the wideness is 13 inches so and the length is 23 inches so what i'm going to do is to go from the folded edge of this fabric i'm going to go inward by three inches i will indicate that and on the other end which is the open edge of this fabric i'm doing, going to go down by five inches and then i'm going to use my free hand to connect like this so the wideness of the um, this sleeve does not matter because i want to pleat the sleeves on the shoulder area of this top so i'm going to go ahead and cut i'll place this also on the other um sleeves and i'm going to trace out so what i'm going to do next is to go to my sewing machine and sew my sleeves in place so like i said i'm going to gather some parts on the shoulder area after doing that i'm also going to cut out a band for the base of the sleeve i'll gather the base on the sleeves on the band because i don't have elastic band to use after doing that next thing i'm going to do is to join the back and the front together i've gone ahead to do that and i went ahead to turn it inside out so so this is what it looks like this is what the sleeves is looking like so the last thing i'm going to do is to sew my zipper to this top so i'm going to lose one side of this top remember i added two inches as my stitching allowance before so i'm going to lose one part of um, the top like this and i'm going to sew in my zipper to that side so if you want to sew your zipper at the back it's totally okay i just want mine to be on the side so i've gone ahead to do that guys and this is what i have so so yeah that brings us to the end of this tutorial i hope it was helpful please don't forget to like if you have any question leave it in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next one